Shalom, welcome to eTeacher Biblical. My name is Sigal. We will talk today again about some translations offered for Iktol verbal form. We are in lesson number 26 and let's start seeing our first example. Our first example is given from Kings 13, 14. As you can see here in the slide, I will read you the verse. You can read after me. Ve'elisha chala et cholio asher yamut bo. Now Elisha became sick with his illness, which he would die, of which he would die. Now, we have two verbs here. We have the verb chala, and we have the verb yamut. But it seems very awkward to us, because chala is iktol, is, ik, is katal, and yamut is iktol verbal form. Still, altogether, we are in the domain of the past. So, what happened here? In order for us to understand it, let us go to the timeline that I present here for you. Both actions are done in the past. We are in the past domain. But we have one action that happened before the other action. Elisha became sick and only then he died. Now how Hebrew can express this difference in the tenses when we have so very few verbal forms? It will take the toll to do that, to show the posteriority, the action after another action. It doesn't matter if you are in the domain of the past or in any other domain. Whenever Iktol wants to express this posteriority, it will just do that. But what helps you know that, you read the text and you see that the text starts with one verbal form and then it switches to another verbal form. Then you want to stop, to hold, to say, what happened here? Why the text had changed the verbal forms? So this tells you what happens before, what happens after. As we said before, let's see another idea of translating. We will see that from Exodus 23.8. V'shochad lo tikach ki hashochad ye'aver pikhim v'salef divrei Tzadikim. Now you can clearly see in the translation here, two of the verbs are translated as present, simple presence, Yaver Viselef, although we are dealing with Iktol verbal form. And why is that? It's because we are dealing now with a general truth. It's not an action that happens in a temporal tense. Because altogether, bribe, you shall not take a bribe, because bribe blinds those who see. And altogether, bribe twists the word of the righteous. So we are not talking about one tiny point in the tense or a, or a period. We talk about a general truth. And so this is Iktol. Iktol can do that also. And that's it for now. With this beautiful verse, we end this lesson. And I will see you, hopefully, in our next lesson. Toda Rabba, Lehitraot.